When should you install an app on an Ava remote? Hardly ever. And if that answer surprises you, stick around to find out the exceptions. It's true that you can use the Google Play Store to install apps onto either model of Ava remote control. But with the power of Ava OS, you should do almost everything with flows. Here's an extreme example. Denim provides an app for their AVRs. You can control volume, switch inputs, and so on. And generally, every customer expects their control system to just handle that kind of stuff. No one should ever have to sort out which app to use for which device. Flows in Ava OS handle the automation to orchestrate turning on the TV, turning on the AVR, switching over to the Roku or cable box, and so on. So your client can just pick up their remote and watch what they want. The basic rule is, don't use apps. Instead, use Ava OS. This applies to pretty much all of TV watching and almost all of music listening. So then, what are the exceptions? Use an app when a customer needs a specialized user interface. That will be rare, and it stands out as obvious when you see it. Take the Ring app, for example, or swap in Doorbird if you prefer. Ring has notifications for when someone rings your doorbell, or when motion is detected, or a package is on your porch, and you can answer the door from a mobile device. These are Ring's superpowers. So how does Ava OS handle these? By letting Ring do the Ring thing. If your customer wants the ability to answer the door from their remote or get Ring notifications on it, use the Ring app. But if that's not of value to them, don't install the Ring app. Similarly, Sonos provides an incredible app for music. Unlike other platforms that give you a watered-down experience, Ava OS lets you use the real deal Sonos app on an Ava device. Overall, think of apps like salt on food or even a really funny joke. When you use them too much or too much of them, they actually make things worse. Keep remote controls focused on their primary job by using Ava OS and only use an app when you know the homeowner will really benefit from it. Pick one of these videos to learn some more how-to stuff. I promise it won't be as preachy as this one.